The American Bible Society was founded in 1816. Today, it is supported by more than 80 Protestant denominations. In the United States in 1870, a young man in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, started an intensive study of the Bible that was to lead eventually to a vast worldwide program of Bible education. His name? Charles Taze Russell. In 1881, Russell and his collaborators founded what is known today as the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. This society has printed or shared in the distribution of over 40 Bible translations in several languages. Some 80 million copies of the New World Translation produced by the Watchtower Society have been placed worldwide in 15 languages. In 1993, it had over 900 translators around the world working on additional translations of the Bible and other Bible literature. This afternoon, we release the New World Translation, the complete Bible, both in the Slovak and in the Czech languages. The Watchtower Society is producing Bibles in Japan, in the United States, in Brazil, and in other countries. How is this ancient book a practical guide for people facing today's problems? Nota che cosa dice la Bibbia in questo punto, in Primo Tessalonicesi, capitolo 5, versetto 3. The Bible is an educational force that changes minds, hearts, and actions. It gives sound, practical counsel on how to live a happy, rewarding life, but is often not appreciated. Do you think the Bible is practical for our day? Well, I have a Bible, but I don't read it very much. The true benefit of the Bible comes to those who read it. For example, Lum, living in Hong Kong, was a compulsive gambler from childhood. The Bible changed his attitude toward money. I would pray to God, and I remembered the Bible principle at 1 Timothy 6, 9 and 10, that the love of money is the root of all sorts of injurious things. And I appreciate that by following Bible principles, I no longer feel the tension and the heart pounding that I used to feel when betting on horses. Things are much better now, and I'm able to show love toward others, not just thinking about money as I did before. Separated from her husband, Wendy found family peace by learning about God's Word. I can think of the um, biblical definition of love. Love is long-suffering and kind, and it does not keep account of the injury. I mean, that is um, so distinctly different from the worldly view of love, and um, that has certainly helped us as a couple, because you would always put the other person's interests first. So life is um, so much better these days. In Brazil, 
Caesar lived for immorality. His life was transformed when someone showed him the scriptures. Então ele ele he started a study stressing Ephesians about the duties of a husband toward the wife. Love your wife. Treat her well. This gave me comfort because it was what I was looking for. I wanted to be a moral man. I had a wife that deserved to be treated well because she always was a loyal, submissive wife, educated, polite, and well-mannered. I saw that the morals taught in the Bible would be those that could repair my life. Taiwanese Shu Ko, paralyzed from the chest down, finds strength in the Word of God. Psalm 34.8 tells us, Taste and see that Jehovah is good. My encouragement for all those who have impediments, physically or psychologically, is that we can stand up and have faith. As Jesus said, faith even as small as a mustard seed can grow and move mountains. Kazuhiro became a millionaire from bicycle racing, but he almost lost his family and his health. However, the Bible gave him new values. I was very much impressed with the scripture at Matthew 16, 26. What benefit will it be to a man if he gains the whole world but forfeits his soul? I thought, yeah, even if I worked really hard but hurt myself, and even if I gained a lot of money and came to have a high position, it would all be in vain if I lost my life. Peter, who lived a life of violence and corruption, reflects on the changes the Bible brought him. Where would I be if I had not uh, studied the Bible? I, well, I really don't know. Maybe I would be dead by now, and uh, my family would have been destroyed by now. But then through the changes that uh, I made after studying the Bible, and uh, my whole family as well, we can really say that it has helped us. We are now united, we are one, and we are happy. Mm. Mercedes gave up guns and revolution because of the Bible. I live in peace. My family itself is more united. No longer do we feel the confusion and anguish that we experienced before. Now the Bible knowledge has brought us appreciation even from people who knew my previous way of living. They are now amazed at the radical change in my life. Even in countries that are torn by hatred, people are finding solutions to the most difficult problems. When we think of um, the political situation in Ireland and how the practical guidelines in the Bible could solve that problem if people would really apply them. Because if we really loved our neighbour as ourselves, then we wouldn't plant bombs, we wouldn't have hatred for him, we wouldn't shoot him, we would actually have love. So when I started applying the Bible in my own life and trying to live, as Jesus says, to love your neighbour, uh, I found myself um, not hating these people who I once really, 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 I really hated them, the Protestants and uh, the British. As I was applying the Bible, it was making me um, view people as human beings, not as they're of that religion and they're of that nationality. But I learned, I learned to love my neighbour. In Israel, Jews and Arabs have learned to meet together in peace. In South Africa, 
blacks and whites have found racial harmony, proof that modern problems can be solved by an ancient book. Yeah, I think it's a tremendously practical because many people today say the Bible is an old book, and so it is. But when we read the Bible, it's as modern as any sort of local newspaper. I realize that God's word is true. I never was left in want. One may say that it is out of date, that's what many say. But uh, it is as practical as the time it was written, even more so at these times. Yes, the Bible, although of ancient origin, is also a modern book. Millions of people around the world live happy lives and have a solid hope for the future because of learning its contents. They have personally experienced the Bible's own words that all scripture is beneficial. Will you let this modern book benefit you?